Okay, guys, we are going to the PS5. And we are coming back here. So, welcome back to Horizon Forbidden West. We played through Horizon Zero Dawn not too long ago, and we are very interested in continuing the story. We know that Silence definitely betrayed us, and he's kind of luring us out to the Forbidden West. We, we sort of have, like, no choice but to go with him. So, we're gonna go out there, but in order to go cross peacefully, we need to go do this, like, whole peace treaty thing. Or something like at the embassy we need to like work some things out in this place so that we can cross and uh and that all is well so let me see main with the daunt cleared of machines the embassy between the karja and tanakh tribes can at last begin aloy must travel to baron light to attend and then we've got a couple other random little side quests that we've got to go do as we as we go um, let me make sure I change our category as well. Horizon. Forbidden West. Perfect. Um. So, I, I wonder how everything is going to go with Silence Gone now. That's sad. A bigger boom. Gather a fanghorn rim. So where are we right now? We are over here. Why don't we go over this way real quick, go warm up with some combat, because it's been a minute, and then we'll keep going on with our story. Sean, what direction is that? That's over here. Perfect. So many of the voices in this game are, are really familiar. I like it. Also, the game is gorgeous. Like, the plants and the trees and... The greenery, quite nice. Those are new. What are these? It just tastes as good as it looks. River Bloom. Don't know what I need them for, but I'll grab it. Sure. So we are only a couple days in. Um, we have not gotten very far. We mainly know that we're just kind of continuing the story from before. We might be able to restore some backup of, like, Gaia, maybe Apollo? Oh, wait. We're going this way. But it's not exactly apparent yet. Combat, of course. Oh, yeah. I remember combat. Immediately dies. Cool. Cool. River Bloom is an ingredient for food? People make you food? That's kind of nice. I always was wondering how Aloy was eating. Well, that was uh, unfortunate. It's okay, though. We're going to try again. Fanghorn. Is that what one of those is? Fire Fanghorn. Yup. Okay. There's the fanghorn. Gonna have to well, take it here down. we go. I don't think I can notch multiple arrows to start, which is unfortunate. No, I definitely can't. How did that miss? Alright, we got one. Rib now. Got the fanghorn rib. Now I just need the charger horns. Uh, okay, so I got some new coils, it looks like. Let's go. Ah! I'm out of this ammo. Let's make some more. Oh! Nope, maybe not. I 
feel like my field of view is a little bit a little bit more narrow than when I was playing on PC. I feel like I'm not able to see this quite as well. Especially when it's scoped in. I wonder if I can change that. Make sure I heal. Ow. There we go. Turned off pickup animation. Yes, someone recommended that, and I very much appreciated it. That is a very nice quality of life addition. Well, looks like there's some things up high. I'm not really going to focus on them at this moment. Let's go. Let's go over this way, and then we can go do these side quests this way. Cheers, everyone. like a really relaxing game. What do you guys think? It kind of gives me like Skyrim vibes when I'm in like the wild. Where it's relaxing but then like every five minutes you know, you know like a wolf or like a robot is attacking you. But regardless, still nice. The climbing is so different in this game. I've been having, I've been having to get used to it. So I need to override a charger, potentially, it wants? Okay, sure. There we go. Just a little more, buddy. How much different is this one from Zero Dawn? So far, not too much different. So far, like it just, oh, no, 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 no. Come on. There we go. Wait. Wait. Let me quick save, please. Does not want to let me quick save. Repair a damaged mount. That's kind of interesting. You can repair with the shards like that. I probably could on the last game too, but I, I did not personally end up really doing that. Nothing beats sneaking around the southern holds of Skyrim hunting animals. Sometimes that's just like really nice. Really relaxing. Well, that's not All the hours of modding looting animations for Skyrim, no one likes them in games anymore. True, I hadn't thought about that. You prefer the skill tree in Zero Dawn, but otherwise you find them very comparable. Fair enough, this one seems like there's just a lot more going on. I liked the other one more visually. I will say that much. I don't know as far as like the actual perks, but just visually... Another one. Quick save here. Oh, gotta fix my clovers. St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. A lot more upgrades in this skill tree in this one. Hard to keep track sometimes. Well, it's like uh, there's a lot of different quest mods or um perk mods for Skyrim. And I think it's interesting because there's a lot of them that like simplify the perk tree. There's some of them that just kind of basically just change the perk tree as it is. And there's a lot of them that like fully expand the perk tree. And some people hate those ones. Some people love those ones. And it's it's tough because a lot of it is personal preference because it's nice Marilyn sometimes White. to have a more customizable build. The last part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. But unless you know the game well, sometimes it's just Gosh, overwhelming. I should find whoever's in charge here. First, I could resupply my stash. 
Might be worth taking a look around too. All right, save again. Take a look around. That's the mini game. Trade with cook. Let's see. Local stew. Uh, 20% maximum health? Restores 25% health and 25% stamina. I mean... Can I make that? I don't know. I'll buy one. Huh. That's new. What do we think about the cooking? You're only slightly ahead of me. Okay. Do you have any like different thoughts so far? I'm just I'm intrigued about like where they're taking this game, what the whole deal is with silence, why exactly he is keeping Hades alive. Because it sounds to me like he thinks that he can keep Hades contained, but I think that sounds really dumb. Can I help you today? Itaman's shadow captured. A journal filled with Karja glyphs marked with the seal of Nazor Arin Kuvaman. When I read that Itaman's shadow has been captured, I ask myself, where was his honor? Did he sacrifice himself in battle? Did he give his blood in shame? No. He let himself be taken alive. On top of that, the Sun King took mercy on him, the very same traitor who kidnapped his half-brother during the liberation of Meridian. From Avad's pronouncement, the rift between Rias, known as Itaman's shadow, and his brother Urid, Heir of the Sun is the same wound that afflicts all families cleft by the Civil War. And such injuries must be healed if the Sundom is to move forward. So Rias lives on, albeit locked in a cell in Sunstone Rock for the rest of his days. Avad is a good man, but far too kind. I cannot prove Blameless Marad's part in this, but he must be involved. The stay of execution reeks of politics, a bone thrown to noble families with ties to the old regime. Just the kind of craven gesture the spymaster would propose. Now, as shadows pass with the dawn, I can only hope that Rias is forgotten forever. His treachery should earn him nothing. Let him rot in the dark. Someone's a little upset there. Okay. Silence voice actor, I know. Hi, Shishoff. Welcome on in. I wonder what that means for the franchise here. I have no idea. An area you eventually get to is meant to be Colorado. Get some taste of home. That's fun. I think it's really funny that I literally moved like from Colorado or from California to Colorado. Like pretty much like right as I started this game. <laughs> just coincidentally. Just I wasn't really planning on moving anywhere anytime that soon. And then just kind of life was all of a sudden like, hey, time to move. And I was like, oh, let's go to Colorado. Heck yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, Noria, I'm doing great. How are you? Happy, happy Friday. Welcome, Courtney. Good evening. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, it's going to be a good weekend, you know? I don't know if we really need much. So these are some coils. Let me take a look at the coils that I have. Edit weaves. Slots locked. Looks like pretty much all of these are locked. Okay, well, um, not sure what use my coils are when my gear's not that good, so better get some better gear. Where's Aaron? Never once bought a coil or weave in the game. I don't Looks think like I did in the I can take them. <laughs> With five ales in you? <laughs> With five ales in me, I'd just be evening the Aaron's odds. just drinking in the what? street. Okay. On your ass. <laughs> well, let's get into our story. Yeah. Gentlemen. That's our cue. You taking the edge off? Huh. Well, I mean, I'd ask you to join, but who'd be left to save the world, right? Oh, he's hurt. <clears throat> All right, now let me guess. You're in a rush, right? So, uh, 
Whatever you need. Ask away. How have things been since well, I... Your silent departure? <laughs> oh. Yeah, not bad. Vanguard's oh, been a strong. Oh, that's sad. Helped Avad pick up the pieces after the battle with the Eclipse. And I took a month to bury Ursa in the claim. But when I got back, I got the assignment to babysit Wadis on his way to the embassy. I thought that'd be a cakewalk, so of course things went sideways. You got blindsided. It wasn't your fault. <laughs> a couple more of these, maybe I'll believe you. It's hard because Aloy, she didn't do anything wrong. Like, ideally, yeah, she would have stayed. And, but, like, I mean, she did kind of have to save the world, you know? Like, that's... Aww. I was, um, wondering if you were able to lay Ursa to rest, like you wanted. Uh, yeah, yeah, we did. Uh, just seen the crowd that showed up to pay their respects. Half of them owed her a favor, and the other half... The other half owed her their lives. In the end, everybody drank. You know, that's the rowdiest funeral since, uh, well, since ever. <laughs> Feels like she would have liked that. Yeah, damn straight. Damn straight. <laughs> she would have put them all under the table. He's having a rough go. What do you know about the embassy? I know, not much. Only that Avad really wants it to happen. He said I'm making peace with these Tanakh. But from what I hear, they're not too big on the whole diplomacy thing. They do most of their talking with blades and arrows. So if you're heading their way, be prepared. Things might get ugly real fast. I'll keep that in mind. <clears throat> what do you know about this place? Well, nothing good. It's where the Karja dragged all the captives they took from the Forbidden West during the Red Raids. Lucky ones came slave labor. The lucky ones. The rest were hauled off to the Sun Ring and Meridian. Your sacrifice. You got it. Tanakh made sure to wreck the place before they chased the Karja out of the West. I can't say I blame them. And now Avad's paying the Azram to rebuild it. And no matter how much new stone they put up, it'll still be stained in blood. That's happy. So things are going great. Yeah. I am. Um, I better get Bye. going. Oh yeah, don't let me stop you. Just, are you, are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm saving the world. That's, that sounds like a lot for just one. Errand. Yeah, all right. Can't blame me for trying. I, I guess what I'm really trying to say is I wish we could take him with if us. If you ever do need me. I know where to find Aww. you. Hopefully sober next time. No. Yeah, don't count it. No. <laughs> Be careful out there, Aloy. Okay. Side quest up here. Hmm. Hi, Silver Apocalypse. I'm doing great. Happy Friday. How are you? Aaron is having a rough day. I'm feeling bad for him because no, none of no, this no, is his no, fault. Please. None of this is Aloy's fault, though, either. Savior. You're my last hope. Conover. She's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse... They're here in the daunt. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... Fought back. I think he needs a new shirt. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Laravik to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Laravik was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. 
but I heard them both say the word eclipse. It's not the most outlandish <laughs> claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying it doesn't mean that they're a convenient way to dodge working. a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. What if they were just but talking we about the eclipse? Threat, others are going to die too. I don't know if that, that yeah, was there anything else? Like I don't know if that's enough to go on, but like maybe. Doing good, not played the Horizon game, started the first one, didn't get too far. I definitely recommend keep going. I'd say I'm kind of just going to do my best to push through as quickly as I can, probably, like, with the story of this one. Like, I will definitely do the side quests and stuff that we want to do, of course, but, um, but I found with the last game that the middle part of it, I started to just, like, want to get to the story, right? I was like, okay, I want get, to get towards the end so that, like, we can figure out what the heck is going on here, right? And I'm wondering if it's going to be the same with this one or if they're going to give me a little bit story a little bit more story as we go along i'm not entirely sure we will see hi old school welcome on in <laughs> so tell me exactly what happened weeks ago during a shift change some trespassers slipped through the gate by the time anyone noticed they were halfway out the canyon nozar didn't see the need to give chase let the tanakh take care of them he said Nazar's not one to be sidetracked. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. Yeah. And Marovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting different, jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger. And when Larovic mentioned the eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Well... That's rough. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Laravik's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Laravik in cold blood. But Nazar only listens to facts. And that fact is, right, Conover killed his proof. fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. Nozar's on edge with the upcoming embassy yeah. and doesn't want distractions. Well, we'll and see. Hey, if you find a bunch of Eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed. Did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse True. are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Well, we'll see what we can do for them. Is there another side quest around here? Let's see, let's see. Hi, literature. Welcome on in. <laughs> um, yeah, question a dead man? H Hellboy question a dead man. Oh. I don't know anything about that. <laughs> Who's this person? Upgrading your gear? This whole bristleback lockdown's a drag. Does she have anything I should buy? Slicing shredder gauntlet? Hold the weapon drawn before firing to tear into enemies longer. Each catch charges the shredder and increases its damage. Okay, that sounds cool. A leap lasher circulator. I need that. That sounds sweet. I want that thing. Anyone like that? Is that like a good weapon? Warrior bow, blast sling. Oh, I did like my blast sling.
Thanks, Red. Need anything else? You come see me. Ammo that deals purge water damage is now available in your inventory. Use your focus to scan enemies, see if they are weak to purge water. Hitting them with purge water will build up the damage, build up to the drenched state. Then their elemental attacks are disabled. Their resistance to all elemental damage in states is reduced. Shoot purge water canisters with purge water arrows to detonate them and trigger a large elemental explosion. Okay, that's new. Sounds cool. Is that the savior of Meridian? Can we have a word? The ornaments. You have a beef about the ornaments? You found the first one, got to the quest to find its origin. The quest doesn't tell you how to find its origin. Oh, it kind of wants you to like stumble upon it, probably. That's kind of tough. Hey, having open quests. Yeah. I get it. I, I, I want to clear them off too. Sometimes Excuse they're like, me. oh no, you'll get this later. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, mmm. <laughs> Forbidden West or Zero Dawn? I have a favorite. Well, this is my first time playing Forbidden machines. West, and I just Sorry played through Zero Dawn. I really liked the story on, on Zero Dawn a lot, so we will see if this one tops it. I'm not sure. Whoa. Gauntlet Sling is a new playstyle, works well with practice. Sounds cool. Ah, uh, savior, <laughs> tell me, are you seeking passage into no man's land by any chance? Maybe. Perhaps. Why do you ask? Ah, well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure out west. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that knows the lay of the land. You're not afraid of the Tanakhs? <laughs> Terrified. But I carry out most of my business in no man's land. A neutral territory and all that. Barren Light is our port of entry. When its doors aren't closed for an embassy. <laughs> I was hoping your arrival meant they might be opening soon. I've got a business to run, after all. I want that embassy to happen as much as you do. Believe me. Like, yep, don't worry, we're it. working on it. <laughs> Good to know. And uh, keep us in mind. I like all the NPCs that they add to in this open game. The way, our main camp will be just past Baron Light. We'll buy any scrap you've got on you. And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West. Guaranteed. All right. Maybe later then. Uh, if you could get those blasted gates open. <laughs> Do my best. Hey, Guess I'm not the only one who wants to get those gates open. I mean, that's fair. All right, anything in the stash? Restock? Sure. Looks like we have some things to sell. Were there merchants? No, not a merchant. Can I sell my stuff to you? I don't think I could. You return. Welcome. What did you expect? Maybe over here? Let's see. May you have a confident Valuables. Valuables. Perfect. And then we keep going this way. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall of stone between you and the Tanaka. You find better armor. Aloy is currently going yes, down sir. in two hits in your playthrough. This game's kind of tough. Why the long face, my boss? Wish you were heading out there. No, sir. If you create job, gives Don't you the worry. quest, right? If the Tanaka okay. were planning to invade, they'd have done so already. If... Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies. Infinite no. resources that exploit. That would be Commander Ooh. Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So. What brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studious Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. You're welcome. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh Marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. 
Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh them left. Well... Uh... What difficulty am I on? I think I might have turned it down from the normal difficulty, to be honest, because I'm a little bit more focused on the story for this game. We've been playing a lot of difficult games also. A lot of horror games and Souls games. I wanted to chill with this game a little more. <laughs> so what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath return personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that <laughs> fell during the Red Raids. Oh. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. Okay. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time I don't at know the if last they like embassy. The Tanakh. <laughs> <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. Oh, <laughs> it hot. was indeed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay. Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity right. going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, and we still have a long way to go. I do appreciate the walking the work and, change and different speed capabilities of controllers. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. What? Yes, well, I'm sure Alvin was thrilled. It's just nice to have different walking speeds versus playing on PC where it's always full speed ahead. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? I'm using the, the dual sense controller. There's Is the that the controller? Better brace yourself. Whatever's the, and good the one luck. you can buy with the PS5. Midnight blue, or midnight purple, I believe. It's supposed to be a purple. The, the, did the developers Why add ray tracing? Ray tracing audio? I wonder. How are we to Looks hold beautiful. an embassy Especially with a tribe PS5? that can't even like, govern their wow. own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? What's that? <clears throat> ah. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? <laughs> that Aloy. We appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be cut. Shut up. <laughs> Why the delay? Shut up. The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three Sassy. clans. How many banners do you see? <sighs> You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. I like <sighs> it because she's like a oh, genetic clone this of isn't Elizabeth. Some forgotten corner of the East where but... you come from, Nora. She's this her own person. West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian. File a complaint. The Meridian mm. I saved, you mean? No. That's right. <laughs> Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Here's the thing. I can wait because I have side quests. Otherwise, I would say no. 
I go now. Lucky for you, the savior of Meridian still has a few things she wants to take care of. Yeah, no, I'm not I'm not ready to leave here yet. Be worth another look around the daunt before the embassy. <laughs> not ready to leave yet. Lucky for him. So, let me look on the map. Let's activate that and go this way. And then there's a couple other ones back this way that I wanted to go to as well. She was raised in quite a different way than Elizabeth. Oh, definitely. Raised in entirely different circumstances. A different world, a different place. So I think it's cool. She is her own person. Graphics have reached their zenith in games. Pretty much. Like, we're very close to it. We're like, as soon as, like, pretty much everyone has, like, you know, like, nice hardware that is, like, you know, the new stuff right now. As soon as, like, eventually everyone is, like, updated to that stuff. There's not much more to go with in terms of graphics. There's not. Everything is beautiful. All right, here we go. Aloy never backs down. It's true. But she still does want to help people, I suppose. So maybe, maybe that's her one reason for saying, okay, perhaps later. Look at our charger still waiting for us. Just gotta part ways with this machine for now. Okay. What do you mean? We're doing the opposite of parting ways with the machine. Why do you say this? Oh, where are we going? This way? Oh, across the bridge. Across the bridge! Oops. Can we... Can we run? Thank you. To the clearing. Shadow from the past. Which one was this? Let me see. This must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. As good a place to start as any. Let me... Let's scan a little bit. Examine the blood. Here we go. Splatter consistent with stab wound. Okay. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. I see plenty of tracks from the car to search party. Not helpful. Okay. You thought the zenith branches. in graphics was with GTA this Vice City. Here. Fair enough. I really wonder how it's going to look in, what, 10 years? Fate Waiting for holographic imaging. Leading away from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. What kind of like weird like eye tracking software is there going to be that like anticipates our movements or like, you know? Like what is there going to be? Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. I don't think he's lying. I just think he did not handle this very well. And almost got himself killed because of it. Hopefully we can save him. Lost the trail. There's too many machines walking around. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them. Nothing to see here, don't worry. Oh, you saw me. Should be able to follow the trail up ahead. Gotta make sure it's dead.
Games did to start look way better though, or start to look way better about 10 years ago. Like, yeah. I mean, Skyrim was 2011 even, but like base Skyrim has definitely aged. Modded Skyrim is still beautiful. Even like the special edition is a little bit better, but God. you know, the original God. edition. Ancient Valuables box. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. There we go. Looks like they're headed for that bridge. What's down here? Someone set up a lookout down here. Bandages? Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. Okay. Should be able to follow their tracks. Side questing. Where did you go off to? Up here. Up the hill. You know what I kind of wish we had is like some more of like the Dying Light 2 mechanics. Just like the full on parkour. Would be kind of fun. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. Up we go. With that injury, I bet he's on his last legs. They do a better job of like blending in some of these like rock faces, but it's also a lot harder to know where like exactly where to jump. Probably the point. Can we go up? Okay, there we go. A dyer can make use of this. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. Grab that stuff. I never played through any of the GTA campaigns, actually. Pry open. Oh. That's kind of fun. Ancient metal eye. What are we supposed to do now? We stay on track and make our way out west. If we give up now, the usurper wins. We have to find Ezra. In his shadow, we will find strength. I say we kill the lion and take on a whole garrison. Let's Won't be have easy. that out. No, oh, no, Lars is sneaky. dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his uh -oh. nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates, and then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first, we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard, we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. Avad will suffer. Will be a good day. Let's try a rock. <gasps> oh, that's okay, not approach. There. That's not a rock. That's not a rock. By the shadow! It's not a rock. Well, we're going in. He's not okay, actually. Keep firing! Can tell you that much. Do our best to be somewhat stealthy. Do I have skill points? Yes, I do. I have a couple skill points. Can I not knock multiple arrows now, please? High arching volley of arrows. I mean, it sounds kind of fun. Hello. Um, do I have that? No. Learn skill. How about this? Build up Valor faster? 
or spread blast. Fire eight bolts of your current sele currently selected type in a wide, short range spread. No, I mean, I'll try this. Sure. Triple notch. Hopefully I can get that soon too. Oh, I don't think I did it right. Oh, got her. No. I don't think you got me, but that's all right. You see her? Because I don't. I'm winded. I need to get my stamina back. Stamina, okay. Right in the head. Headshot kill. Take that. Who sees me? You guys. Do. Time for our revenge. I'm not sure that's gonna work out that way for you. Get out of there. There we go. Let's just. Oh. Tried to go for the big attack. Turns out we just needed to go for the the quicker one. That takes care of that. But I'm sure there's more of them outside. Did you see I that? Be careful. Yeah, it sounds like you're outside. Dark and Sun, we are the Eclipse, elite of the Shadow Karja. We did as Hades, the buried shadow, commanded. We followed the prophecy that the High Priest Bahavas foretold. We wore the relics of the Old Ones, allowing us to share whispers across the Sundom. We raised an army of ancient machines to lay siege to the traitors who had stolen our holy city of Meridian. All for naught, the accursed Nora Huntress slew our leaders and brought the buried shadow low. What are the faithful to do when the prophecy fails them? But perhaps it has not. Bahava spoke of the cosmic cycle cut short by the murder of the true Sun King Jiran. The world cast in shadow, the wheel of time broken, an unending day under a darkened sun. What if this period of prophecy is not yet complete? What if the buried shadow was not a deliverer, but only a harbinger? If this is true, our mission hasn't ended. It has barely begun. And it could very well be that the West, land of the setting sun, is where the true power lies. We'll have to <laughs> Weird. Quickly, over there! Over where? You don't need to see me. Oopsies. Firing! Let's get back now. She's hit. Yeah, not for long. Cover fire! Oops, I missed. Stamina. All right, let's just run up there. You just live there. Hmm. You come back. I'll be ready. She's like trying to chase after him. Takes care Sometimes of speed is really the best option. It sounds like there's more eclipse beyond the daunt. If this Rayad was their only link to them, he might have a focus. It could tell me where they are. I I'm guessing wonder. that's Rayad. I was right. Rayad has a focus. There we go. You're seeing this. It means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit. That's not good. Crush his new Eclipse Empire before it begins. There's coordinates here. Not past Baron Light. Corpse, thank you. What else am I mask supposed to... should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. There we go. <laughs> Strength. 
straggler shade what are these what is this place i guess let's find out oh no this is where i was oh it's just like an inside area never mind not that exciting let's jump down We'll grab the river plants. When we fought the eclipse back in Meridian, I thought that'd be the end of it. Yeah, no, that was not it. Wishful wrong. thinking. Only Rockstar games are Red Dead 1 and 2. This thing might be true for me. I'm trying to remember. Finally picked up GTA 5, felt that you got your money's worth from it. No desire to play the online aspect, though. I mean, that's fair. I gotta try it sometime. I think I claimed it when it was free on the Epic Game Store, like, I don't know, like three years ago or something now. I do my best to claim all the games I can on, on Epic. <laughs> really relaxing. It's a different vibe than all the other games that we've been playing lately. Kind of a nice change of pace. Okay. Why do I have to take so long to hit it? There we go. Hackers have taken over what? GTA Online? What? <laughs> Is that a thing? You only use Steam yourself, you don't like the Epic Game Store. I mean, it's not my favorite, but it has allowed me to play some games that I wouldn't have otherwise bought. Um, that I was able to, like, try out and stuff, you know. I do appreciate it for that. I mean, I used to play Fortnite back, like, season... I played Fortnite season, like, four to eight or something, like, a while ago. And so I, I started to use the Epic Game Store then. And then they first gave me Subnautica, and I finally played through Subnautica recently. That was great. I need to play through the new Subnautica as well. I just bought that when it was on sale on Steam, though, for that one. But there, there's been a couple games where it's like, oh, I don't really want to buy the whole thing on Steam, but I have it on an Epic, so let's give it a try. I appreciate that. Sometimes I kind of treat it as like a trial, though. Like I, I kind of did with Oxenfree, where like, yeah, I, I played through it the first time on Epic, and then I was like, wait, I actually like this, and I want the Steam achievements, and I went and bought it on Steam and played through it again a couple times. Um, th that is what I've, what I've done. <laughs> <coughs> sir? Who are you saying sir to? Where's Erend? That looks like he's had a few. Oh. Erend? Hmm. That's not what Look we're here alive, for, though. soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But Nozar, he might not be convinced by your words alone. If he needs proof, show him that. And tell him the man he's got locked up risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll That's make sure nice. this gets to Nozar. Hey, we got we got That's him freed. It, the end of the eclipse. Now I am his personal Almost. savior. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader is dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. Maybe. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, savior. Spend skill points. Okay, so I think that means that I can get this now. Triple notch! Nice. 
I was waiting for that one again. I finally got used to that in this game. <laughs> Embassy, let's activate that quest. Oi, miss. I've unlocked a weapon technique. Yes, tap or hold. Uh, right bumper while aiming will use your selected weapon technique. Depletes your weapon stamina, switch between them. Okay, so I can use like the... Doesn't look like I have multiple weapon techniques yet, but I'm sure I will. Your impatience does not hasten the Tanakh, Nora. Only our annoyance. Oh. Fine. Hang on. Is that... I didn't realize that's what that was. Uh... Charger horns. I don't really remember what I needed to do that for. Twilight Karja Camp. What were these? Side quests. Shadow Karja have refused to let anyone up a trail that leads to valuable salvage. Ostrom thugs have threatened to force them to move by any means necessary. I mean, we can go back real quick. Let's go run. Where am I going this way? All right, we just follow the path. On the run. Could go get a charger, but I kind of like running around on foot. I don't know, same way in, a lot, in Skyrim a lot of times too. As much as I love, like, horses riding on horseback. Something about these games sometimes makes it, like, easier to get around. Just running. Not locked out of anything if I go forward. I kind of figured not, but even still. These are some, like, pretty low-level quests. Might as well go do this last one. Thank you for letting me know, though. <laughs> Basically never use mounts unless you had to in this game. I mean, that's fair. They're not, like, my favorite part of the game. Ooh, I admit, I'm getting, like, a slight little bit of a headache right now. I had plenty to, like, eat and some water and stuff today, but... Oh, this game and the bright lights and stuff. Whew. Getting me a little bit. I don't know how long I'm going to be able to go today. Do my best, though. Weak spot hit just popped up. good, folks! Is that an ally of mine, or...? Those people are under attack. I don't know if it's exactly an ally. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? Not my job. I'm just here to keep an eye on things. Ah. You're just keeping an eye on things. Might as well call it quits! Oh, who's this guy? I'm not giving up. Come on. Okay. Another one just comes out of nowhere. Oh, that's a nasty one. More machines on their way. Get to safety. I'll handle the rest. Go, Lakasha. I'll help the Nora. Will you? Hope so. Please die. Oh my god, I didn't die. Now it died. Right, now it died. No. Oh, come on, I thought it was gonna be dead. Not for sure it was gonna be dead. Always wanted to see the savior of stamina. I need some more. That's the last of them. Better check on the refugees. Guess the show's over. Uh 
Let me grab my loot. I was like, what is that little circle? Oh, it's just like a little ledge I can grab onto. That is nice. I kind of appreciate the assisted mode like that. Petra told you about the Twilight Karja refugees. Ah, thank you. I couldn't remember. Grab all the loot. Oof. Still. Looking all hot now. Defended the order brave. Oh. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure mm. about that? You're no stranger well, to alive. hardship, yeah. Mira. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns, our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our Sun Priest. Hmm. Our order has made it this far, thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in Shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, Protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. Hmm. We Guess must not everyone walk likes in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Savohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well? They're going to try. Yeah. It's not really up to you. Don't Look at yourselves. Talk to him. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation... This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there, and I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Up we go. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. 
Let the Nora pass. Easy climb? No such thing. Hi, King Walker. I'm doing pretty good today. I'm a little tired, I'll be honest. <laughs> I'm still resting up a little bit after uh, the 12 hour horror marathon, but I had so much fun and it was a great time. And we didn't get to play enough Horizon this week, so I wanted to play at least a little bit today. So up we go. No, is that not a ledge? I swear that's a ledge. Okay, that is not a ledge. Maybe Looks this. Looks like I should head up. Ladders can be unlocked by shooting them with an arrow. What ladder? Oh. That ladder. Where do I have to shoot? Right here? Okay. Have we played any Horizon this week? No, we hadn't yet. I had wanted to, but uh, I did not get the chance. I was hoping to play for a little bit longer tonight, but I'm honestly, I'm not feeling the best right now. So I'm gonna do my best to go for as long as I can. Part of the ladder. Akasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. Let's see if we can make it up the mountain. Uh... Oh. Forget that's a thing, alright? We can make it up far. What? No, please, please go all the way up. Stop doing that! Okay, stop showing me that icon. Okay, I gotta. I guess I just gotta stop. This pigment thing up. Well in armor. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. Oh. Oh, jeez. Wall jumping. Oh my gosh, well, how many more mechanics are they going to give me? It's cool mechanics, but tricky. <laughs> Ladder must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. Okay, that's not going to work. Maybe this way? What is this? I wonder what a merchant would drive this. Almost missed that one, but I didn't, so that's good. <laughs> good news. Yeah, that was totally a ledge. Definitely not just like a sheer rock face. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. Nice. There's the stormbird. Getting closer. About the only time the wall jump comes up. Okay. <laughs> Maybe for some like random puzzles or something. Around we go. Pretty areas. Machines. Can go down Savo right there. Must have snuck past them. Could probably slip past them. Or take them out. We're gonna go for the stealth approach, see how that works. Oh, you're almost there in the Do Diablo 4 demo? Let me know how you like it. I think I'm probably gonna try that as my first Diablo game. But I could learn if there's a cauldron out here. Maybe I can find a cauldron, we'll see. Go on past. Hi, Dio. Hi, mister. <laughs> oh, cats. I 
looks like there's definitely some loot there, but we, we honestly, we have like a ton of loot. <sighs> okay. I think I'm in the clear. There's Savoir. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Savoir. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <laughs> no. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh. A ritual. Hmm. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at this storm bird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. The beacon? I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. Listen, Makasha is doing the best she can. Yeah, down they may there, need to work on the ritual. Machine attacks. Angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think is going to happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. The fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. Uh. <laughs> Salvation is at hand. We, we make a lot There's of machines awesome fall. Shot it and it hit an old tower. Can you at least like bring your people to the tower or like I think no? you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter. Security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way. This even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Yeah, like, can you bring I'm people over to that storm bird? Hmm. Grab its heart. Okay. Here we go. Can I go up? No, it looks like we gotta go around. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke and a prayer? Why does hmm. every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Yeah. And there's an answer staring you right in the face. You might want to take it. Useful for making dyes. Get up. All right, let's try to go up this way. Uh, I don't think I can go up that way. Can I go around? Maybe. Maybe. Maybe? Hmm. Hard to know exactly where to go.
Keep going. Ooh. The Osram that was watching the refugees we probably go. went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. And all the way up. Looks Grab like some kind of lens. That. There we go. Guess I'll... There. The order should be able to. Have... Sabahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Hopefully we can make it across. Yes, we can. You can break the barrels that are all over the place. Sometimes they drop loot. Ooh. Let's talk. Savar. Is he gonna make it? I'm not sure he's gonna make it. Yeah, I don't think he made it. R.I.P. I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. Let's make sure we save after that, and we'll get back down to everyone. No, oh, that's kind of sad. Well, I hope we can help him. Let me go across. Where am I up here? I called her to learn how to ride machines. Not sure that's a cauldron. Agent Saren, thank you so much for your prime sub. How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining us tonight. Happy Friday. Uh, is there a rappel place? I'm assuming there was. I didn't see one. The first two Witcher games on Steam? Ooh. Thank you again, Agent Sarah. Hope you're having a good evening. Um, how do I get down from this place? I, I don't, I think I made a mistake, but I'll get down. Here we go. We're good. There's Tolland with the strokes. Don't make this Can I go get him? Get out of the way. No. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the cards you to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. Uh, you again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or flea bags. I'm taking it. Um. No. You have to go through me? Mmm. Finders Keepers? Nah. Okay, so you clipped a Stormbird. But it's brought you nothing but trouble since. Refugees, squabbles, me. Might be hard to swallow, but it's time to cut your losses, don't you think? Come on, boss. It's not worth it. <sighs> okay. You win. That works. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. <laughs> I don't think we made any friends there with them, but that's okay. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. This is... Savalhar must make these decisions. Well... No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Well... Savalhar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard. But your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. 
Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird Heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest, but I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then. Okay. Quest done. So, I'm gonna go back to the commander guy. I need a travel pack to fast travel. I apparently don't have one. Oh. Ah. Goody. I didn't realize I had one and I used it to travel out here. That's highly unfortunate. Okay. Go to a campfire. Oh. So the campfire right behind me I can use. I see fast travel. Thank you. So they just changed it. Okay. You went with the brain option. You remind him that Osram Law says to the first to salvage gets to keep it. I mean, that's fair. There's a couple different ways you could do that. I'm sure you could also just intimidate him. I doubt he'd, uh, doubt he'd put up a fight. I mean, honestly, the heart option there was kind of intimidating, so. Just said I unlocked face paint. That's kind of cool. Sir? There's Aaron. That looks like he's had a few. Aaron's just still here drinking. Not again. Rough. <laughs> What's up here? Random things. Okay. All the way up. Why the sun? The answer is no. I can craft no. the travel packs. Okay, we thank you. Wait, as is the will of the sun. Well, I'm going, so. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. You shall not pass. You are not Gandalf, unfortunately. Oh, Barl. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate. That is a direct order. Sorry, mm. can't do it. I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Hey, Bar. Hi, Aaron. Uh, what's happening? I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's uh -huh. it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. How's that hey, gonna go? Nose off. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut? In the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? No. No. Let it through, boys. Thank Save you. The Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. All right, Varl, let's go. Here we go. So this tribe that Murad told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. Would but be. this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? There's no more politics. Yeah. No more delays. Oh, well. Now it's... Oh. 
cut that off a little soon. Didn't realize. Wasn't supposed to sprint. I guess. That is the line between east and west. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? <laughs> the Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. By turning <laughs> back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to her. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. What's going on here? A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You're Fashav. Vard gave me a message for you. That he waits for you in Meridian, where you belong. Hmm. <laughs> Avard always was polite. Well, now I'm even more curious about you knowing that you have the confidence of the Sun King. But such an association with the Karja could work against you here. Mm -hmm. As it often has with me. As you can see. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just Passing need to go through. west. So you say. I might be able to help. Avad's cousin. But I oh, who is supposedly being held prisoner Along by the Tanakh. assurance that I won't. <sighs> I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. Okay. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Fair enough. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate, and was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. <laughs> and they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. What does so that when mean? you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along. And I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this rite, called the Kurut. 
thinking that by winning I could request a boon. My life, or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes. And peaceful. But it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest mm. survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you hmm. might think. Yeah. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hoped for freedom, but... Oh, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief. The winners of the cool route must serve the chief as his marshals. You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? The word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient The past. marshals, right? Yeah. In practice, marshals oh. are Hikaru's roving lawgivers. Part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. Oh. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. But they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. Yeah, so... So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. But there is much to admire about the Tanakh... Especially their chief. So he I've is heard kind stories of about what it was like before his reign. Here. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. The Karja talk about Hikaru as if he's a monster. The Karja feel compelled to demonize him if only because he swept them from the field. It is true that he is fearsome. When I was first taken before him, I thought he would flay me alive. But he is no bloodthirsty tyrant like the Mad Sun King was. Okay. I think that if you were fortunate enough to meet him, as I was, sure you would we find will. that he only wants the best for his people. I hope you do speak to him. I'm sure you'd interest him. So, that's my story. You're the first Easterner to hear it, but not the last. The cards you need to know what I have learned. Yeah, the way you talk about the Tanakh is a lot different than how they do. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or... Sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change, even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. Okay. You asked why I need rite of passage. You gave me a whole story. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. 
And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian. An army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this. To serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. Okay. A task so important. And it's just the two of you. Yeah, Take it would just be the one. To be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Fair enough. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you. And he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner. Controller is rumbling. Marshals. It wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. Okay. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parlay with the Kaja. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. Uh, the I other don't marshals so. were not permitted. If you wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Okay. Now, oh, what are we going to witness? Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! Oh, who's this? You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. Oh. A rival whom he should have killed. Okay. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. Oh. You'll need more than toothless threats to intimidate us. Exile. She's like, okay. <laughs> Lancers, pour them up. We're about to fight it right now. Let's see. Uh. They're riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Silence. Oh. Vashav! Oh. Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Um, took a turn very fast. Archers, keep them back. Oh, they're doing some damage. Run them down! 
Okay. They're not gonna make it. All that. Stand your ground! Fire at will! I don't Quite have a, a shot! Oh, I picked up my guitar. I don't think I need to yet. Well, he got shot. I can't say I'm devastated. Uh, I would be kind of sad if he What happened? Okay. Can you see? It's just he got annihilated. Thing. Yeah. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Okay. Lancers! Take the center! Oh. Get ready! Okay, Stick here to we cover. go. Archers on I... the ridge! Oh my. Let's go with precision arrows. Oh, you moved? That's not fair. Here they come! Another win. <laughs> come on. Okay, my arrows are going wild. What's the deal? What's the deal? What do I do here? Okay, do I just fight everyone? Leave them. Finish the the yeah, I guess we just fight everyone. Okay. All right, let's fight. Oh, oh that helps. Hey, that's something. Vengeance for Fasha! Yeah, Fasha, he already died. Like, that's sad. Sad we couldn't save him. Cut them all down. No fear. Got this one lined up. Come on, who's who's next? Okay, come on, just give me any ammo. Literally any ammo. Get this guy. Come on. You all right? Oh, okay. All right. We're back in a cutscene. You never thought of firing at the archers on the hill? No. I don't know. That was like that was my first instinct. <laughs> Cover fire! 
Oh. Oh. We're good. Come on, Barl, stay up. She dies Got everything today. I need for Dylan Boomer. Come on, is there something gold? Yes, I want to make sure I get the gold things. Sometimes things despawn. I don't want to take any chances. Granted. That's a cool thing. Oh, look at that glider. Swoop it in. Kick our butt. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Varl. Varl. Don't, don't, uh... You're next, girl. Oh, that's a shield. I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. I can break through a shield if I damage Your it enough. I can keep going. I've got to get through that shield. armor. <laughs> I know I have unused coils. I don't think I can use them right now anyways. Your turn. Ooh, Come who's down next? Here and face me. Come on. No. No. It was an honorable challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades. Mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Oh good, silence versus Aloy, but like, using other people in a war, we love it. Maybe it's just trick your own normal, I'm sure it is. I'm just having fun. <laughs> this is the one game I get to do this in right now. Get him to the camp. Now. You gonna make it? You're going on without me, aren't you? Varl, you can't... I, I don't know if this is... Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. Huh. For now. 
Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. At least you didn't get too hurt. Well, pretty much everyone else did, so that's really sad. All the new people we just met. All dead. Cool. I got you. It's salvage time, boys. Oh, goody. I'm sure, they're not gonna cause any problems. Hey, that's mine. Whatever. You can have some. <laughs> Glider? That's cool. Aloy. Their leader definitely We're worked still out, right? To She's sort like, out this mm, bye. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Those are Vwadis, Fashav. A massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. Hopefully. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then so much for the embassy. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong. Home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? Kind of. <laughs> That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, though obviously this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. Maybe had some help. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. Hmm. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. See if they're alright. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? <laughs> There's that one, over there, near the Utara border. But why... It's, uh... It's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Yeah. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. Glider is one what of the best I additions. I bet. Here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory, but the United Clans rose up against them. Forced them all the way back to the dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert. <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? Maybe. You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh more taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden right? West. A bunch of farming areas? Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. 
When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out neutral. into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. Well, I'd never call no man's land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that. Remnants of some forgotten war. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osirum Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osirum crew. Wonderful run into Not them. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh's chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. Oh, uh, The man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the west, only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As a cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Vladis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Do you All think right, the Karja will one. take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of, of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. I'd need to be no, on my way. No, you can't. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. That's nice. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. Pretty music. I am playing this on PS5. Welcome, Quinn. And Maddish God, hello. <laughs> Attended the embassy. I hope we got a trophy for that. That was intense. Where can I save? Okay, well, let's let's go loot real fast. Guess it was two thumbs and just left work after 14 yeah, hours? Oh my gosh. Back. Well, happy Friday. The Shield Wing is an energy-based glider repurposed from machine technology. Hold square while in the air to deploy and glide and ta tap uh, circle to stop gliding. Okay. So I hold square. That's fun. Oh, so, well, let's loot the battlefield. All the fallen. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe a backup of Gaia. 
It won't be easy out there. Maybe. The blight, the storms, recall as machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. No. It's weird because it's like herself, but it's also kind of like her mom and like the person who came before her. The woman who led the ambush, Regala, had a lot of machines under her command. Yeah. There's only one other person who has that kind of knowledge. The silence. Yeah. What's his angle? Why help to knock the rebels? Yeah, is he just trying to mess with us? I don't know if that even makes sense. I can grab this from my stash later. Hmm. Well, you guys, let's go save. That was a lot of, like, lore and stuff that they just set us up with. Um... Aaron and Varl are staying behind. I kind of assumed. I was kind of wondering, like, oh, Varl's actually coming with us? No, we just had to help us with that battle. <sighs> Silence only ever does something if it profits him. Usually, preferably with knowledge, apparently, right? Less dialogue after this point. More action. I'm assuming. It seems like we kind of got set up here. So, we we are now out of this initial starting area. We can definitely go back. I'm sure we will at some point here. But for now, I'd kind of like to continue on a little bit and uh, go to some of these other quests and all that we have. We have some of those over there, but we need to start making our way towards Death's Door. The coordinates recovered from the spire. That's over here. And then there's still this whole giant area this way. This is going to be a long game. We'll be playing this one a while. <laughs> Fun. I think you guys, we are nicely set up. It looks like... Is that a cauldron? No, that's where we were earlier. We were over there earlier. We went in there. Never mind. There is a quest back there. We'll, we'll go back at some point, but I think we are nicely set up for next time. I have actually not played Machine Strike yet. What do you think about it? Is it fun? Do you like it? Gotta stay from your own playthrough. Push in through the campaign to unlock the other key items should usually be the first thing done. Okay. So focus more on the main game and then we'll have time for some side quests. I mean, that makes sense. You have yet to find a cauldron. All right, they must be out there in the world a little bit further then. Right? I guess, I guess we haven't found it. As a sequel, this should be a pretty long game. I mean, yeah. That's true. It probably should be longer than, than Zero Dawn. I just wonder where- <laughs> Oh, Maddish God! Feeling evil tonight, are we? <laughs> Thank you. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> forgot, forgot about those. Forgot about that possibility. <laughs> Oh no. Oh yeah, and I forgot to even turn off Nightbot. Nightbot's like, psst, scare her. I'm like, no. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, you guys. Well, that's going to be it for the game for today. We're going to keep it short and sweet for today's stream. And, uh, and that's going to be that. <laughs>